during the Gullah Festival, lots of artists come out to show what they do best, like Hank D. Herring. I call myself an artist. The, uh, I use a, mu a multimedia artist because for my art, I use incorporate everything that comes within my touch. And in true Gullah style, it's the personal touch of each creation that makes it special. Uh, I made my own uh, press to, uh, make, pull, to pull my prints. Pulling whatever he can find from his surroundings to create what he calls green art. Most, a lot of my pieces are made from um, rescue, I call rescued materials. Well, this piece here was working with papers, uh, different kind of uh, paints to create a piece that would give the illusion of um, more than uh, more than what it is. I will use anything that um, that I can pick up to create a image in this true art. Art can also be seen in the creation of gourds by Mary Moore Anderson. Mary says her roots can be traced five generations back to the state of Virginia. Her great 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 grandfather and his brother were brought here to South Carolina as slaves to work on the Moore plantation. My father's aunt, her name was Eva, she lived in Chester, South Carolina. She used to have a large gourd out in her cabinet that she kept her rice in, flour. I fell in love with those gourds. I may, be, may have been about 12 years old. Gourds are in the cucumber, pumpkin, and squash family. They are actually all containers that came from Africa. Mary continued to have a fondness for gourds throughout her life, but she never really did anything with them until she turned 50. Two days after my 50th birthday, I took that gourd down and I made my first piece of art out of gourds. And she's continued to nurture this way of crafting ever since. So what I did was I started making these gourds and I said, Lord, I really do love these things. And then one day I took time to go to an outdoors festival in Chester, South Carolina. A young lady came down the street and she stood over and she watched me for a few minutes. Then she turned around and she went back. And then maybe about a half an hour or so later, she came back. This woman eventually praised Mary for her work and invited her to speak at her church for Black History Month. Her testimony was not just to her art, but to the one she believes created her as a special piece during a trying time. Because I had had a stroke and I had some surgery because I had gotten paralyzed on one side from a fall. But she continued to pray for recovery and a way to get back to her crafting. Well, she did both and she did them well and right after her testimony. Believe me, I was shocked. Her brother came up and he handed me a check for $300. Mary continues to give her testimony by continuing to do her work to be shared with anyone who's willing to stop by and take a look, one gourd at a time.